tables and fact tables are there. Just tell them twelve dimension tables and one fact table are there. Right. So what is galaxy schema? Sometimes when you load the tables, when you create the model, you will even get output as galaxy schema. What is galaxy schema? Galaxy is nothing but multiple stars. Galaxy, galaxy, it's multiple stars. In galaxy, what you will have? Stars. So uh, sometimes when you build the schema, you will see multiple stars. It looks like multiple stars. So let me show you here practically. Two fat columns and multiple dimension tables. Galaxy. Let me show you. So this is star schema, guys. In star schema, so this is fact table. Remaining all are dimension tables. Time table is a dimension table. Customers table is a dimension table. Products table is a dimension table. Store table is a dimension table. And sales is a fact table. Every dimension table is directly linking with the fact table. That is the reason we call it a star schema. And this is snowflake schema. In snowflake schema, few dimension tables, minimum one dimension. If you see brand dimension table, it is not directly linking with the sales table. It is linking through another dimension table. So then it is a snowflake schema. In minimum one dimension table, if it is not directly linking with the fact table, it is snowflake schema. And the next one is fact constellation schema or galaxy schema. Galaxy schema, another name is fact constellation schema. So look at this. This is one star. This is another star. This is another star. So look at this. This is one star, one star, and this is another star. This is another star. Collection of stars is nothing but galaxy. It looks like that. <laughs> In galaxy schema, you will have multiple fact tables. Take an example. I have a manufacturing unit. I have a car company. I'll manufacture the cars. I'll sell the cars. I'll manufacture the cars. I'll sell the cars. All the manufacturing related data will be there in this table. All the sales data will be there in this table. For manufacturing, how much amount we are spending will be there here. When you sell it, how much amount you got will be there here. And so you will have an employee table in the company. In your company, you will have an employee table. In that employee table, employee table or staff table, in that staff table, there will be employees who are working for manufacturing. There will be employees who are working for sales, right? So sales team will be there and manufacturing team will be there. There will be some product table. What are the products you are manufacturing? Only that products you will sell. There will be one timetable for what time period, what, what products you are manufacturing. For the time period, what products you are selling. You will see a schema with multiple fact tables and some common dimensions tables that are shared with these fact tables. So product table, staff table, and timetable are a dimension tables which are sharing across these two fact tables. The schema is viewed as collection of stars. Hence, we call it as galaxy schema. So in galaxy schema, a single dimension table is shared with multiple fact tables. If you see here, this dimension table is shared with multiple fact tables. This dimension table is shared with multiple fact tables. This dimension table is shared with multiple. If you see a schema like this, there is a fact table. There are some dimension tables which are shared with both the fact tables. There are some dimension tables which are specific to this fact table. There are some dimension tables which are specific to sales. These three dimension tables are which are specific to sales. These two dimension tables are which are specific to inventory. These are some common dimension tables. When you see a schema like this, we call it a galaxy schema. So basically, it will, it will become complex, guys. When you build the galaxy schema, the, the schema will look complex. So instead of building the schema like this, these days we'll go and build two, two star schemas separately. You can split it into two stars. This schema into one star, and this schema into another star, I can split it. So there are some people who can combine both of them and build a galaxy schema also. It is not that they want to go and build two star schema separately. They can even build galaxy schema. Right? When you see a schema like this, we call it as galaxy schema. Galaxy schema. Any questions about this uh, three schemas, star schema, snowflake schema, and galaxy schema? In galaxy, in galaxy schema, if you want to start schema, we need to prepare two data sets, right? You need to prepare two separate data sets, correct. 
Yeah. And each and every time we, when we prepare a, a data set, we have to combine those three tables, right? Uh, if we want to create a star schema from a snowflake schema. No need. See here, when in this image, when you split into two, it will be a star schema only. So when you take this, this, this tables, this is fact table, the six dimension tables are linking directly. When you consider the six tables, it is a star schema only. It is not a snowflake schema. When you even no, consider this these example. five tables, uh, in this example you are telling, in this, yes. Yeah, yeah. If you want to convert this into the star schema, you need to combine these three tables into one table. And you need to yes. directly link the table to sales table. So each and every time we, when we create visuals, we have to combine those three tables. Why you need to combine it? 